lot of misinformation out there. People don't know what's going on. There's untruths. Can you tell us where you're going after this meeting with the response you got from this meeting? Here's maybe a chance for you to tell the people what you're thinking as a committee. About? The waterfront. Uh, well. Just isn't, weren't, weren't you just complaining at this meeting that there's too much misinformation out here about what you're planning for the waterfront? Can you name well, any of the that things that were noticed? You noticed that was during the, the, the round table. Yeah. So okay, so here's there, your chance. There is yep. a lot yeah, of Yeah, I know, but instead of doing it on a, on a sort of a ad hoc way, yeah. maybe this should be a... I'm not sure. We, we'll see if we discuss the, uh, the need. Gee, gee is the spokesperson, can you name a single thing that was misrepresented to the public? I am... Because the condo I'm, issue was I'm from no your own communication. I'm not answering any more questions from you. You've, you've printed some misinformation about my company. Yes, you did. So I, I warned I'm you happy to print any over. clarification or yeah, retraction. No, I'm done. I'm fine. I'm done with you. If you want to talk to me, I'll be over there. Okay. Lee, you're the chair. Um, what do you have to say? I, well, I think what happens... Are, are the, is the public ignorant? Are they not getting it? Oh, what's, no, no, what's going no, on? no, no. I think, you know, if a rumor starts and the rumor spreads and there isn't any uh, sustenance to the rumor that it it kind of like just goes around and... and okay, but you know, wasn't this a process initiated by the Waterfront Committee? The process was, but not... Did, did, didn't the talk about the Waterfront and having a condo next to the complex, or not no, a condo, development next to the complex? Development. Wasn't that initiated by the Committee? Yes. So, but for people, so for people to get the idea that we were talking about condos in Lamaru Park, mm -hmm. as Patrick said that somebody spoke to him at, at breakfast about that, that was never that was never a, a but it, front thing. But that's a, that's a whole other kind but of com confusion. That's where there's confusion. even more confusion because that parking lot that you're talking about developing is part of Lamaru Park. Yes, but we the civil complex was built we in Lamaru Park. We yeah, we're not talking about condos on the grasslands of Lamaru Park. No, as Patrick, someone mentioned to Patrick at breakfast. You know, I mean that's just the kind of thing. I'm sure you've run into it yourself, where you know there's been some report made, and, and you're thinking, no, no, that's not right. You know, so mm -hmm. I mean that was part of the thing about us having an open house was to try and get the information out there. You know? and, I, and I'm really pleased with the response from but the did, community. Didn't, didn't the whole talk of condos first come from this table? Though? Not condos, development. Okay, because I they remember... Were never, they were never set on whether... Because I remember Eric Lane talking at one meeting saying that this should never have been brought up, the condo idea. Well... So that must have been talked, discussed at your meeting. Well, it, we talked development. You have to be honest, straightforward and honest I with am. us. I am. Okay. But I, I don't really feel that the whole idea was about condos because, and then some people had a, an idea that it would be a 10 story building. Well, we never talked about development being a 10 story building. You know, it's just. Okay, it's can hard I ask you this? Are, are you saying then, or can you say without a doubt that the issue of condos or the talk of condos never came up to this table? I'm not going to tell you that the talk of condos never came up at this table. Okay. But it also, uh, the talk of any talk of condos also included that perhaps on the bottom floor would be a um, cafe. Okay, so you're, saying, so, you're, so you're saying that you're agreeing that there was talk of condos, you're not denying that. So how can you say the public mis is misinformed the talk or, or be oh, talk of condos? Oh, but I think you're tangling my words. I mean... I know, no, I'm just trying to figure out because we're trying to inform the public that I need to know where you're going. I need to know what, what where the committee's going, what the committee's proposing. The per committee was proposing development on that piece. Mm -hmm. they, they never said it's going to be all condos, it's going to be all bowling alley, it's going to be all anything <laughs> else. Yep. They just wanted, because it's the only yeah. piece that the city owned, exactly. was if it could kickstart something while we wait for the lands to... That Is it possible that, that the rumors actually initiated? initiated from the committee and got it into the public. Because uh, you're saying there was talk about condos at the committee table. Well... Is it possible that it spread from the committee? Instead of, instead of making an official statement, it was just the rumor mill that took over. Is that possible, or...? I don't know. I, I mean, we talked about a lot of different things. You see how, mm -hmm. you see how our meetings go this evening. Mm -hmm. And um, so there's discussion. 
but discussion doesn't mean like we, you know, okay, this is, this is what we see as the end result, mm -hmm. you know. It, it was never sort of, this is what we see as the end result. Um, yeah. this, we'd like to see some development. What do you see as development? Mm -hmm. Well, what could you put there? Well, you know, you could put a number of different things there. But do you think that so. people were missing the whole why in the equation? Why are you proposing to do this there? Well, I think people were upset because, you know, we're talking about the park, which is, mm -hmm. and, uh, but, um, and, and from what I can see, an overwhelming majority of the meeting were against that plan. What, what was your take? Well, certainly, you were there, I think, as well, were you not? Yeah, I've seen yeah, uh, yeah. I've seen what went on. Uh, from what was spoken at the meeting, it's I would think that there was a negative reaction. Uh, mm -hmm. We're still, I mean, we're not making any official statement as to the results of the meeting mm -hmm. because the survey is on the Cornwall website until the 29th. Which is the next question. How do you balance the public meeting with the online surveys and how are you going to is there going to be a way of verifying the things that are proposed in the online survey? Um, is it going to be weighted against the comments of public meeting? How are you going to balance the two? Because they're two separate processes. Yeah, uh, uh, yes. Um, the, um, Sorry, I know it's a kind of a... Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> the, uh, the survey that was handed out at the meeting mm -hmm. was the same survey that was on the website. Yeah. Okay. So we take the written surveys that we received mm -hmm. and put them on the program okay, like yeah. the thing mm -hmm, yeah. and that makes it easier for the people who are going to so the, the only only the only the written surveys no, are no. going to be considered no, like the public no, input no, what, no, that's wait, what I'm, I'm just trying no, to get no, to wait the, you're going too fast oh yeah i'm just trying okay. to figure this out yeah well we're, we're going to take all the answers where um And so put them all together. The okay? handwritten and the electronic, you're going to put them all together. Yes, so that so the handwritten go on the electronic, and then you have the answers. You compile those answers. Which is over now 500 is now years. Yeah, 660. Lee, do you know if there's any geographical controls on the online survey? Yeah, just a minute. Um, and then all the comments will also be compiled. So the comments will be part of the. So that when people stood up and. When you had your own table yeah. and then somebody stood up and said, this is what the yeah. majority of our table felt, yeah. that's yeah, going to be considered? Yeah, we'll have those Okay, that's yeah. good. That's what, I, yeah. that's what I was trying yeah. to get at. So the comments from the... From the yes, uh, all the comments from the round tables, plus all the comments that are on the survey sheet. will be con Everything's going to be considered. But, but are you aware that there are companies and services out there that will file electronic surveys for as little as a dollar? There, there are services out there, like a, a company can say, I want you to go to this site and fill out that survey. And there are people that will fill out surveys the way they're told to fill them out. Well, I think we have to have a bit of trust in, in people. Mm -hmm. You know, this is our, we have to trust what would people you, are going to do. Would you be surprised us? if the online surveys were all overwhelmingly in favor of the development? What would you, what would I you wouldn't do? I would be surprised. Would if, you? If, if you had most of the people opposed at the public meeting and then the online surveys were put on in favor. Excuse me, I'm going to have a, another cookie, okay? Yeah, Are you good. staying for a few minutes? Um, I've got to be somewhere okay. by 7.15. Okay. Right. Okay. okay, sorry, I won't take much, much of your time. Um, this, if the survey results, the online survey results are diametrically opposed to the results that you gathered at the public consultation, will that raise red flags with you? Well, if you let's see, like, wait and see. But let's say if you see 90% of the people at the public meeting were, were against it, I then all of a sudden you get 90%, no, this hypothetical speaking, yeah. and all of a sudden you get 90% online in favor of it. Yes. Would that raise any concerns really, you? Wouldn't you think so? Well, yeah, I would be a little concerned because ah, yeah. it wouldn't seem to gist with the yeah, whole public yeah, uh, yeah. public input. So will there be I some critical analysis? Happen. I don't think that'll happen, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. we did this for the interest of our community and I don't think our community is going to pull something like that I mean so you think it'll be the online survey will kind of be in line with what you heard at the public session I don't know I don't know but 
you know, uh, please, if you're reporting this, ask, ask people if they haven't completed the online survey, mm -hmm. they have till the 29th to do so. Okay. Um, we do our best, you know, and... Um, Certainly, it's not an easy job, for, for sure, you're in the public eye, for sure. But we all have an interest in the waterfront, and, and mm -hmm. you know, we, we try to move things along. We try to... The, the, you say, where do we go from here? Well, we have a waterfront plan, you know, and, and this was a diversion from the plan, but... Um, dramatic. We, we put the... No, it's a put dramatic, it up there. dramatic diversion from the plan. Did, it up there, do you have any comment on Mr. Lumley's statement about Lamaru Park and having no. from Brookdale to Race Street stay green? No. No. I mean, everybody has their own comments, and mm -hmm. they're entitled to their own comments and their own opinions. So, I mean, I, you know, your comment and your opinion is as valid as the next person's. Anything you so. would have done differently in this process? Um... The process of the open house? Just the process of leading the, of the open house and leading up to the open house. From the point you started talking, when Roy started talking about building next to the complex on three occasions last year, to the point where you brought it to council and then came back here to talk about public no, consultation. Would you I, do anything differently? I chair the meetings of the, of the Waterfront Committee, mm -hmm. you know, and I think as any committee of any organization, if a present, an idea is made, a presentation is made about something, and the majority of the committee members want to pursue that, then you go ahead and you do the best job you can do. And I think that the committee did an excellent job in preparation and in the handling of the... Uh, Any idea why, why Mr. Perkins was pressing so hard to have that line developed? No, I don't. No idea? No. So there's no vision for that line beforehand? Well, we hadn't thought about it, mm -hmm. you know. You just thought here's a piece it, of land, maybe we can develop it. It wasn't. It wasn't part of our waterfront plan, so mm -hmm. we hadn't. We hadn't thought about it. It mm -hmm. was the only piece of property that the city owned, so it's the only place we can talk about development now. Mm -hmm. Is that a good enough reason to put the idea out there? That is that the best argument you can offer. That's the only place we can build on. Is that the well, best argument you can offer the public? We should build there because that's the only place we have. If we want to see development on the waterfront now, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. that's the only place that it can be done because it's. And the when you only say we, who are you talking about? The city. Are you talking the about community. you, the community? No, no, I'm talking about the community. Does the community want to see development on the waterfront right now, next to the civil complex? Not from the public meeting, I wouldn't think so. Okay. But yeah. you know, we do but you have to, to go wait there. to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have to wait for the results to come. When Mr. Perkins pushed to have the development in the parking lot, did anybody on the committee oppose that concept? Well, it was a long time ago. I don't know that it was opposed. I mean, it was discussed. The proposal was made. It was discussed. It was voted on to move ahead. Do you recall who seconded this, his proposal? No, I don't. Okay. Um, just, as, just a little aside, and I don't know if you were here around the time because I was a reporter back, I'm dating myself here, uh, late 90s of the Freeholder, uh -huh. and uh, we had a skateboard park in the parking lot there. The parking lot that you're de proposing to build on. A skateboard park? There was a skateboard park. The skateboard park was moved. Yeah, can you okay. give me an idea of, can, what do you, why do you think it was moved? They said it was taking up too much parking. I don't know. Oh. They said it was taking too much parking okay. there. Can't answer. Uh, just the fact that you're talking about taking away parking now when they took away the skateboard ramps. Uh, now you're going to be. Now, uh, but that's history. Like you, people need to know the history to to have context. I like I don't know if you're aware of that. That's all. No, I no. Yeah, and that would be in the city city council minutes. I'm sure. But there was a skateboard park there, and the reason why they moved it to Alpinus Park. Was there a complaint that it was taking away parking? There was enough parking here. No comment on okay, that. No comment on that. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no comment on that. All right, that. all right. Thanks, uh, Lee. Appreciate your anyway, time. Anyway, 